In this problem, we have to find the following limit. So let's go ahead and work through it. So this is equal to, so this is a vector valued function. And so when we take the limit, we basically just take the limit of each piece. We're in a position where we're ready to actually take the limit. So you just take the value of pi and you plug it in for all of the t's. So this will be pi i hat plus cosine of pi j hat plus sine of pi k hat. So just like in calculus one, if you can plug in the number and there's no issues, you do it. So here this is pi i hat. The cosine of pi is negative one, so this is minus j hat. And the sine of pi is zero, so plus zero k hat. Okay, so this is just pi i hat minus j hat. You can leave it like this, or you can leave it like this up here. I'll just write the final answer like this. I hope this video has been helpful.